Welcome back, everyone, to theCUBE's live coverage of Snowflake Summit 22. We are live in Las Vegas at Caesars Forum. Lisa Martin, Dave Vellante. Dave, this is day one of a lot of wall-to-wall -wall action on yeah, the Yeah, it's a lot of content on day one. It, it feels like, you know, the, the reInvent Firehose yes. of announcements? It feels like a little mini version of that. It does, yeah. that's, a good, that's a good way of putting it. We've been unpacking a lot of the news that's come out. Stick around, lots more coming. We've got two guests joining us from Tech Systems Global Services. Please welcome Devang Pandya, Managing Director, and Shashir Srivastava, Senior Manager. Guys, great to have you on theCUBE. Thank you so much, good to see you, and it's great to be in person finally. It's been a long overdue, so excited to be here. Agree, the keynote this morning was not only standing room only, but there was an overflow area. Oh my goodness, we have a hard time getting in, and it is unbelievable announcement that we have heard. Looking forward for an exciting time next two days here. Absolutely exciting. The, the cannon, the shotgun of announcements this morning was amazing. The innovation that has been happening at Snowflake, and you know this clearly as partner, has been, it just seems like it's the innovation flywheel is getting faster and faster and faster. Talk to us a little bit, Devang, about tech systems. Give us, the audience, a little bit of an overview of the company, and then talk to us about the partnership with Snowflake. Like. Sure, thank you, Lisa. Uh, Tech System Global Services is a full stack uh, global system integrator working with 80% of Fortune 500 customers, helping in accelerating their business as well as technology modernization journey. We have been a Snowflake partner since 2019 and we are one of the highest accredited sales and technical certification uh, with Snowflake and uh, that's what uh, we have earned as a elite partner, or sorry, emerging partner with Snowflake last year and we are one of the top elite partner as well. Yeah. So since 2019, I mean, in the keynote this morning, Frank showed it, uh, I think Christian showed it as well, in terms of the amount of, of change and innovation that's happened since 2019 alone. We were talking before we went live this year about the, the last two years. The acceleration of innovation, cloud adoption, digital transformation in the last two years is kind of knock your head back. You need a, yeah. a, a whiplash collar to deal with that. Talk about what you've seen in the last three years, particularly with the partnership and how quickly they are moving and listening to their customers. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, last two years uh, really has given pretty much every organization, including us and our customers, a complete different perspective. And that's that's the exact thing which Christian was talking about, you know, disruption. That's the that's that has been the core message which we have seen and we've got it from the customers, and we have worked on that right from the get go. We have you know all our tools and technology. We are working hand in hand with uh, Snowflake in terms of our uh, uh, offerings, working with the customers. We have tools. Uh, we talk about you know accelerators, uh, quote unquote. That's that helps our customers, you know, to take it from on-prem systems to all the way to the Snowflake data cloud, and that too in you know fraction of seconds. You talk about data, you talk about you know code conversion, you talk about data validation. So you know there are ample amount of things, you know, in terms of you know innovation, all workload. I've heard you know those are the buzzwords today, and those are like such an exciting time out here. So before the pandemic, you know, digital transformation was yeah, it was sort of a thing, but it was it was also a lot of complacency around it. And then, of course, if you were in a digital business, you were out of the business, and boom. So you talked, Devang, about the stack. Um, you guys obviously do a lot in cloud migration. What's changed in cloud migration, and how is the stack evolving to accommodate that? That's a great question, Dave. In the uh, last two years, it's absolutely a game changer in terms of the digital transformation. Can we believe that 90% of world's data that we have produced and captured is in last two years? It's isn't that amazing, right? And what IDC is predicting, by 2025, 200 zettabytes of data is going to be generated, and most of them is going to be unstructured. And what we are fascinated about is only 0.5% of unstructured data is currently analyzed by the organization. So look at the immense opportunity in front of us and with Snowflake's data cloud as well as some of the retail data cloud finance and healthcare data cloud launching, it's going to immensely help in processing that unstructured data and really bring life to the data in making organization a market leader. Quick, quick follow-up if I could. Why is, is such a small, why is so much data dark and not accessible to organizations? What's yeah, the Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. I think it's a legacy that we have been trained such a way that data has to be structured, it needs to be modeled. But last decade or so we have seen, no, it hasn't required that 
way and all the social media data being generated how we communicate in a natural world is all unstructured, right? We don't create structured data and put it into the CSV and things like that. It's a, just a natural human behavior. And I think that's where we see a lot of potential in mining that data set and bringing you know, AI ML capabilities from descriptive to diagnostic analysis moving forward with prescriptive and predictive analytics. And that's what we heard from Snowflake in uh, Christian announced, hey, machine learning workload is going Going to be the key. A lot of investment happened in last 10 years. Now it's going to, you know, uh, capitalize on those ROI in making quick decisions. Shishir, talk to me about those customer conversations. Obviously, they have they've transformed and evolved considerably. Yeah. But for customers that have a, this tremendous amount of unstructured data, a lot of potential, as you talked about, Devang, but there's got to be, it's got to be a daunting task. Oh, yeah. But these days, every company has to be a data company to be successful, to be competitive, and to deliver the experience that the demanding consumers expect. Yeah. How do you start with customers? Where do they start? What's that conversation like? And how can tech systems help them get yeah. rid of that kind of that daunting iceberg, if you will, and get yeah. around it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and I think you got the right point there. Unstructured data is just the tip of the iceberg we are talking about, and we have just scratched little surface of it, you know. It's, it's and as Devang was mentioning earlier, uh, it's, it's gone are those days, you know, where we are talking about, you know, gigabytes of data or, you know, terabytes. Now we are talking about petabytes and zettabytes of data, and there are so many, and that's, that's the data insight we are looking for. And what else, you know, what best platform you can get better than, you know, Snowflake Data Cloud? You have everything in there. You talk about programmability. Today, you know, Christian was talking about Snowpark. You know, that, that gives you all the cutting edge languages. You talk about Java, you talk about Scala, you talk about Python, you know, all those languages. I mean, there were days when these languages, you need to bring that data to a separate platform, process it and then connect it. Now it is right there. You can connect it and just process it. So I think that's that's the beginning. And to start the conversation, we always you know go ahead and talk to the customers and you know understand their perspective, you know, where they want to start, you know, what are their pain points and where they, they want to go, you know, what's their end goal, you know, how they want to pros proceed, you know, how do they want to mature in terms of you know data uh, agility and flexibility and you know how do they want to offer their customers. So that's that's the basically, you know, that's our the path forward and that's how we see it. You know, yeah, and just oh, just please, to add ahead. on top yeah. of that, Dave, sorry about that. Um, what we have seen uh, with our customers, the legacy uh, mindset of creating the data silos, primarily because it's not that they wanted it that way, but there were limitations in terms of either the uh, infrastructure or the unlimited scalability and flexibility and accent extensibility, right? That's why those kind of you know workaround has been built, but with Snowflake Unified Data Cloud Platform, you have everything in unified yeah. uh, platform. And what we are telling our customers, we need to eliminate the data clock. Yes, data is a new oil, but we need to make sure that you eliminate the data clock within the enterprise as well as outside the enterprise to really combine them and get a you know valuable insight to be the market leader. You know, when the Cube started, it was uh, 2010, and I remember we went to Hadoop World and there was a lot of excitement around big data, and, yes. and it turned out it didn't quite live up to the expectations, that's an understatement. Uh, but we, we learned a lot and we made some strides, and, uh, and now we're sort of entering this, this new era. But you know, the, the, the last era was largely this big batch job. Right now, today you're seeing real time. You know yes. we've we've projected out real time inferencing is going yes. to become more and more of a thing. How do you guys see the the sort of data patterns changing? And again, where do you see Snowflake fitting in? Yeah, great question. And Dave, um, what I would have to say just in a one word is r removing the complexity and moving towards the simplicity why the legacy solutions such as big data didn't really work out well. It had all the capabilities, but it was a complex environment. You need to really be, you know, uh, knowing a lot of technical aspect of it, and your data analysts were struggling with that kind of a tool set. So with Snowflake simplicity, you can bring citizen data scientists, you can bring your data scientists, you can bring your data analysts, all of them under one platform, and they can all mine the data because it's all sitting in the one environment. Are you seeing organizations change the way they architect their data teams, and specifically, uh, are you seeing a decentralization of data teams? Are you, see, you mentioned citizen data scientists. Are you seeing lines of business take more uh, ownership 
of the data or is it still, because again, that big data era created this data science role, the data engineering role, the data pipeline, and it was sort of an extension of the sort of EDW. We had a, a few people, maybe yes. one or two experts who knew how to use the system, and you'd build cubes, and it yeah. was sort of a, you know, an order of magnitude more complex than that, could maybe do more, but are you seeing it being pushed out to the lines of business? Uh, that's a great question, and I think what we are seeing in the organization today is this time is absolutely both IT and business coming together hand in hand. It's not that, hey, IT, you do this data pipeline work and then I will analyze this data and then we'll you know, share the dashboards to the CEO. We are seeing more and more cohesiveness within the organization in making a path forward, in making the decision intelligence very, very rapid. So I think that's a great change. We don't need to operate in silos. I think it's coming together and I think it's going to create a win-win combination for our customers. Just to add one more point, what Devang has mentioned, I think it's the world of data democratization we are talking about. You know, uh, data is available there, insights we need to pull it out and you know, just give it to every consumer of the organization and they are ready to consume it. They are, they are hungry, they are ready to take it. You know, that's, that's, that's something you know, we need to uh, look forward for. Well, absolutely look forward to it and as you talked about, there's so much potential. It's, we see the tip of the iceberg, right? There's so much underneath that. Guys, I wish we had more time to continue unpacking this, but thank you so much for joining Dave and me on the program, talking about tech systems and Snowflake, what you guys are doing together, and what you're enabling those end customers to achieve. We appreciate your insights. Yeah, thank you, thank you. so much. Uh, you. It's Thanks. an exciting time for us, and we have been you know, partnering with Snowflake on retail data cloud launch, as well as some upcoming opportunity with manufacturing, and also the financial competency that we have uh, earned. So I think it's a great time for us in, uh, ahead in future. So. Excellent, lots to come from Tech Systems, guys. Thank you, we yeah. appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate Let it, thank it snow, you. I would say. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let yeah. it snow. <laughs> I like that. You heard it here live from hot Las Vegas. For our guests and Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. We are live in Las Vegas. It's not snowing. It's very hot here. Uh, we're at the Snowflake Summit 22 covering that. Stick around. Dave and I will be joined by our next guests in just a moment.